So Sinovamate is a medication that is, it's a new relatively, uh, was FDA approved in November 2019. And then we honestly, like myself included, had a hesitancy about this medicine because it does have interaction with other medications and it does have a rare allergic reaction. However, when I saw many doctors use it as well, I start using it and it has very, very, very high success rate much better than all the other anti-seizure medications. So we start using that medicine early on and for patients who are resistant to treatment. And I have patients even cancel surgery because of Sinovomid. So it's very, very important medicine. We should definitely consider it in any patient who is resistant to treatment, especially in adults. And uh, they tried multiple medications. So Sinovomid can be a, a, a good alternative to uh, the, uh, the treatment. Hopefully it can control the seizures, but there are some cases that do not respond to Sinovomit and we need to do surgery. So Sinovomit is a medicine that is titratable. So we need to start very slow to prevent this allergic reaction. We go 12 and a half for two weeks, once a day, and then 25 for, uh, once a day for two weeks, and then 50 for once a day for two weeks, and then 100 milligram once a day afterwards. And then the maximum dose is 400 milligrams. So this is how we use Sinovomit. It does interact with other medications. So we need to, especially medications work on sodium channels like uh, lacosamide, Vimpat, or phenytoin, or tigritol carbamazepine, or oxcarbazepine. All these medications need to be lowered a little bit so that it gives the room for the medicine to work and be tolerant.